In today's video, we're gonna be covering how to set up your columns on TikTok. Whenever you do any sort of media buying, such as Facebook ads or TikTok ads, you wanna make sure that your columns are properly set up in order to read your metrics the right way and make the right decisions within the ad account. So if that's something you guys wanna see, make sure you watch this video to the very end, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the video. Before we get started, I just want to give a huge shout out to everybody who has been showing love in my recent videos. Make sure you guys keep leaving comments down below, letting me know exactly what you're struggling with. It helps me come up with ideas to make these videos. Now, if you haven't already, join the free Telegram group chat. There's a whole bunch of like-minded individuals that you can learn from, as well as myself within that group chat so we can communicate one-on-one. -on -one. So just make sure you join that group if you haven't already. Now, with all that being said, let's get right into it. So as you can see, guys, here we are inside my ad account. And the columns are actually already set up. So we're just gonna go through them very quickly and then I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to set this up. So the first thing that we're gonna have here is gonna be the on and off switch for your ads and then the campaign name, status, budget, total cost, clicks, uh, CTR, cost per click, CPM. Then we'll go into total complete payments, cost per complete payment, your ROAS, and then the value uh, for all of the payments that have been completed. After that, we're gonna go into add to cart, as well as initiate checkout. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to set this up. So we're gonna come right here and click on this. You guys will probably see default columns and then we'll click on custom columns. When we get here, you'll probably be seeing something different than that. So we'll go through this again. So you'll wanna delete uh, whatever you guys have on your screen all the way up until the total cost. So anything prior to total cost can be left alone. It can be left there. And then we'll jump straight into uh, this basic data tab. And as I said, you guys already have the total cost. So then we're gonna go into clicks and then we can go into CPC, CTR and CPM. So what this allows us to do is track what our CPM is, which means essentially the cost for a thousand impressions. And then our cost per click is how much money are we spending to get one person to click through our link. And then our click through rate is gonna be the percentage based on the amount of people who have been shown the ad and the amount of people who have actually clicked through it. Now, a number that you would kind of base yourself around uh, for the CTR is above 1% on TikTok. I would say anything above 1.5% is pretty good. I've seen CTRs at 2%, 3%, 4%, 4%, sometimes even a little bit higher, which is great. So obviously, these are just numbers that I like to base myself off of, but as they always say, ROAS is king, so, if you guys have a bad CTR, but your ads are performing and you do have a profitable rise, then obviously you're gonna to wanna to leave your ads running. Now, in terms of CPC, on TikTok, you'll typically see CPCs that are a lot lower. So you'll see something around probably 20 to 50 cents is really good. Anything above that is kind of a little bit high for TikTok. So anytime that I do see something around 50 cents, on TikTok, it typically tends to not be profitable. Like I said, ROAS is king. So these are just numbers to base yourself off of. So once we have this set up, we're gonna go into this page event tab right here, and we're gonna hit uh, the total complete payment, the cost uh, per complete payment, and then we'll go into the ROAS, and then the total value of everything. Afterwards, we'll go into add to cart, and initiate checkout. Now, sometimes I'll also set up a cost per initiate checkout and cost per add to cart. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna set it up. And essentially what this allows us to do is break down our funnel. So if you launch ads, all the metrics in terms of CPC, CTR, and your CPMs are looking great, but your ads are not converting. So let's say you're getting add to carts, initiate checkouts. This cost per add to cart and cost per initiate checkout is gonna let you analyze where you have a drop off. So if you have a very cheap cost per ad to cart, but you have a very high cost per initiate checkout, then you know the drop off is happening between adding to cart and going to checkout, which means you'll probably wanna play with your product price because people are seeing the price in their cart page and then they're not gonna to wanna to head straight into the checkout. Now, if people are simply just not adding to cart, there might be something wrong on your landing page. So just go ahead, go through your funnel and try to figure out where people are missing out, especially when you see uh, a consistent drop off in one of these phases over here. But once you have all this put together, you're gonna hit save as preset column. Now, if you don't do this, you're gonna lose all the columns and have to set them up again. And now give it a name. So we're just gonna call this subscribe because 
you guys should subscribe. And then we're gonna hit confirm. Now these columns are gonna go ahead and load up. And as you guys can see, everything is gonna be placed here exactly in the order that we want it to be placed. So these are the columns that I use for every single one of my launches. I've never actually needed more information than this. So this should be perfectly fine for you guys. So go ahead and implement this into all of your TikTok ad accounts. This is something you're gonna to have to set up consistently for every new account you create. But this is definitely something that's very important just because I see a lot of people not knowing how to read their metrics. And most of the time is because they're running off their base default columns, which honestly doesn't give you all that much information. Probably I'd say step one in learning how to read metrics and understanding KPIs is just having your columns set up properly. Like I said earlier, uh, if you guys need to pause the video to set up your columns exactly this way, at this point, you'll want to go back, pause the video and just go through it slowly. Uh, on your end and just confirm that everything is set up properly. With all that being said guys, this brings us to the end of the video. So I hope you guys set up your columns properly and I hope that you start to implement this strategy as of right now because this is something that is very important guys. So if you did set up your columns, make sure you let me know down below in the comments that you set up these columns because I mean, who would not want to set up their columns, right? Common sense, right? But anyways guys, that's enough for today. So if you haven't already, join the free Telegram group chat in the description down below and as always make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next video